Hey everyone, so in this part one of this video, I will show you the basic car design that I use for the self-driving car. Shown is the base of the car. In the center of the base, you'll see the basic specs and design of the Raspberry Pi that I used. In the car, it's a Raspberry Pi Model B, the first version. This back box is just showing the SD card that I used to power the, or to run the Raspberry Pi. In the front is just showing a box of the USB Wi-Fi adapter that I use for the car to have communication with my computer back and forth. This back box is just showing a cord that the Raspberry Pi plugs into and the cord goes through this back hole on the car body and underneath and plugs into a battery that will charge and run the Raspberry Pi. These front and back supports are just showing, the back supports are showing the motors, uh, the braces that are going to hold my motors in place for driving the car and this front support is showing the servo mount where the servo will plug into and then screw into this front servo assembly. This front servo assembly is simple, it just this front hole is where the servo attaches and that way as the servo steers this whole bar along here will turn and it will turn the wheels. This back base is attached rigidly to the body. These two back wheels are just representing the wheels that will screw in and attach to the motors. And this car body is a body I designed with the front of it having these two holes up top for the headlights so I'll put white LEDs there and these bottom two holes are for steering so I'll put yellow, yellow LEDs there later on in these videos and this back is just showing uh, again two holes where the inner ones are the brake lights so for red LEDs and the outer one outer holes are for again steering so that I'll put yellow LEDs there for the blinker And I forgot to mention on top of this body there's this opening where I'll put the Raspberry Pi camera through. That's where it'll attach so the camera can then record in front of the car and then process those images to drive it um, autonomously. Now you see the <clears throat> 3D printed version of that model I just showed you in Fusion 360. This is showing the base and the servo mount. And then this is after attaching, printing the back part of the base, since the 3D printer wasn't large enough to print the whole base in one solid print. I then attached it with those two prongs you saw in the previous picture. And then you'll see the mounted motor and servo, as well as the Raspberry Pi placement and the 9-volt battery. And that is the basic 